Hey everyone, it's Sherry Dunlevy, your Inspirationista, and I thank you for joining me. This is day eight for me of the 30-day story challenge, and today is going to be a difficult one for me to get through because today is uh, the year anniversary of the death of my friend B.E. Taylor. And not that we were super close friends, but we were friends. And actually, I was friends with his wife since high school uh, before we became friends. We became friends when he started his Christmas concerts. My husband, my son, and I were present at the very first one. It was held at the Glessner Auditorium at Ogilvy and has since you know, become this phenomenon that has really become a part of our Christmas tradition each and every year. But I remember when I was scrolling through Facebook last year, and I don't even know if it was on the day or maybe even uh, a few days after, when I saw uh, B.E.'s son uh, make the announcement that his dad had passed. And my heart grew so heavy because even though we weren't really close friends, I loved this man and so did many others. And when you think back on that, how many people were saddened because they loved this man, that says a lot to the character of this man. And that's what I want to talk to you about today, because some of the things that I have learned through life, I think, um, were present in how Bill lived his life. And the first one was he used his gifts his talents and his abilities every single day of his life and he blessed others with that gift and he blessed them in so many ways he loved music he had his own take on music and he shared his gift joyfully he did it was wonderful and I have the CDs in, in, my, in my home that are a part of I said my Christmas culture for my entire family so he shared the gifts that God gave him freely and he gave of himself, not just in the music itself, which will live on forever, but he also gave of himself of his, his gifts and talents and lent them to help other people. Many, um, many fundraising activities. I know that through Children's Hospital, he was always donating CDs, baskets, tickets to concerts, whatever, he always gave back. So not only did he give of his talent, but then he gave back, okay? He gave back to his community. And then he gave as a person. He didn't know a stranger. And the one thing that I loved, well, many things I loved about him, but the one thing that really resonates with me is he always took the time. He always took the time. I would run into him at Walmart and I would look down on my watch and it's 45 minutes later, and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I just I had a conversation with B.E. Taylor for 45 minutes and it was wonderful. And we would laugh and we would cry and we would just shoot the bull. He loved people. He loved to talk and he loved to share. And I always walked away feeling I had been given a wonderful gift because the way he made me feel. And I always hear that when I'm listening to motivational speakers, when I'm listening to podcasts, when, when I'm t uh, trying to learn from the experts. And they always say, you know, who do you want to be? How do you want to live? Go and live that way. And that's exactly what he did. And better yet, how do you make people feel? Are people feeling better for knowing you after you leave? And sometimes I have to say that even though I'm working on that now, that's probably not always been the case with me. The gift of gab is not something that comes natural to me. I have those tendencies to, to be introverted and, and, and maybe even seem aloof to some people when you see me out in public. And it's not that I'm not warm and loving. It's just that I'm not real blessed at small talk. It's, it's, it's a challenge for me, something that I work on daily. And so sometimes I literally run out of things to say. And um, that might not leave people feeling so good about themselves. Not better for, for having had the time to talk with me. But that was never the case with Bill. 
And one of the things that I learned from losing my son, and one of the things that helped me get over this, and I don't know if it will help Veronica, I don't know if it will help Gina, I don't know if it will help any of his dear close friends or family. But when I lost my son, um, someone wrote to me that my son actually in his 29 day lifespan probably brought more people to their knees praying um, and brought them to God, at least on his behalf, than most people do in their lifetime. And I know that B.E. was a very strong Christian and he didn't talk the talk so much, but by golly, he walked the walk. And if there's one thing that I would like to share with his family is he lived his life to a point where we can only hope that we could live our life that way. He used his gifts and his talents. He gave back to his community. He always had time for people and he always made people feel better after talking with him. So I say, God said, mission accomplished, come back home. That helped me when I lost my son. I don't know if it will help you or any of you that are listening right now, but that's just kind of how I feel. He lived an incredible life. He blessed my life and many others. And it wasn't just with his music. It was who he wanted to be. It wasn't just what he did for a living. It was how he lived and who he was. And that was a wonderful, beautiful gift in my life. And I would just like to thank him for it. That's my story for today. I'll have another one for you tomorrow. If you like this, please feel free to share. I'd like to reach as many people as possible because I love to encourage people to think about things maybe a little bit differently. and Maybe it might help them in their journey or with some of their pain. So thanks for listening and we'll talk again tomorrow.